Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about traversing relationship fields. Now this is one of the most important parts in Salesforce because many times we need to traverse through the parent-child object relationship. There may be cases when you need to insert two associated object records in database. For example, Invoice object has relationship with customer object and hence one customer can have many invoices. So let's go ahead and do an example. Suppose you are creating the invoice and you will also like to relate this particular invoice to the customer record. So let's see how we're going to go ahead and do this. This is called traversing the relationship fee. So before writing the program, I'm going to go ahead and create a customer record with the name customer creation test. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to my developer console here and go to my application, the chemical equipment and processing application. And in this particular application, I'm going to go ahead and go to the customer and go ahead and create a brand new customer. The name of my customer is customer creation test. So this is the name of my customer I have created, customer creation test. And uh, let's say he's in active status and this the customer status is paid. So this is what I have created. So now what I'm going to see here is the requirement here that I want to see is like if I'm creating the invoice and I wanted to relate this invoice to a customer, how I'm going to do it. So we're going to go ahead and see this. So we'll go to the, let's close all these. And now let's go ahead and go to the developer console here and go to the execute anonymous window. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a invoice record and we will relate this invoice record to the customer record. So first thing is we're going to go ahead. We already have a customer with the name of customer creation test. So now we're going to go ahead and create a invoice object. So this is the API name for the invoice object. The name of the object is invoice, OBJ invoice. And now we're going to go ahead and use this new operator to construct the object. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and relate this invoice record with the customer object. So this is what the invoice record is. So the invoice record has a field called customer. If you remember, there's a relationship field here. So we have a field called customer. So we are going to go ahead and relate it. So how I'm going to go ahead and use this select query since I've already explained you SOQL and SOSL. Select the ID from the Apex customer. We are looking for which customer? We are looking for the customer where the name is equals to what should be the name? The name should be customer creation test. So this is the name I'm looking for. So I wanted to relate my invoice to this record. So select the ID from the Apex customer object. So this customer object where the name is equals to customer creation test. So let's say if there are multiple of those. So we're going to go ahead and limit it to one. And then just get the ID. I'm only interested in the ID of that customer record where the name is equals to customer creation test. So this is the way to relate it. So we are traversing through the from this particular invoice object. We are setting up the customer field of that means we're setting up the ID of the customer and we are writing this select query, which is going to fetch the customer record where the customer name is customer creation test. And we are setting up the ID of that customer inside of this particular field. And then the remaining fields that we have is one of the field we have is the status field. The status we are going to go ahead and name it as uh, we'll set into pending status. And then the next field, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert this particular invoice object. So right now there is no invoice where for this particular customer record. So there is no invoice. So let's go ahead and verify it. So if you go back here, if you go to the invoices, how many invoices we have? The last invoice we have is the number 18. And this is related to the customer test. Okay. So now what we have created is we have already created this customer creation test. Now we are creating an invoice related to this particular customer. So how did we do it? So first thing is we have created a new Apex object and then we are setting up the customer data or the customer field 
from the if using the select query where we are looking for a customer with the name of customer creation test inside of the customer table or customer object and we are setting up getting the id from there and then we are putting into this particular field everything else is same and then you are using this dml statement to insert this invoice once everything looks good now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the system.debug and we'll say newly created invoice so this particular invoice will get created so this is the newly created invoice let's go ahead and execute so you can see here the customer is this one the status is pending and the id is this one so if you go back to your invoices here you will see an invoice with the id of 0019 the ID is this one, A0, this is the ID, and you can see that this ID matches exactly the ma matches the one that got created. So the exactly matches. So this is the invoice record. What is this cust the customer it is related to? It is related to this one. So this is called as traversing the relationship field. So through what we have done here, we were able to create an invoice and we're able to relate this invoice to the customer record. So this is what the traversing the relationship field means.